What is going on guys? I've been away from my computer uh, for a couple weeks and I noticed I came back and just loaded Flash Pro Manager for shits and giggles and I see that it has a new version released since my last video. It is now at 2.4.8 before it was 2.4.6 and I wasn't sure what kind of changes they made because I looked at this and everything looked the same but I noticed they now include reflash tachometer progress indicator so I'm assuming that means when you go to reflash your ECU you're it's gonna use its tachometer as kind of a progress bar and I don't recall if it did that last time with the 2.4.6 so I'm gonna update my flash pro here and reflash the car again with the same tune to see if it does anything different this time alright so let's go ahead and plug in flash pro Once you plug it in, you should see both the green light and the USB red light come on. It's going to give you this message saying that your calibrations on the Flash Pro are from an older version. And if you see my old videos, you know you got to update them now. So I'm going to click OK. And you are going to see that these are on an older version. So what we're going to do is delete both of them. And then re-upload them since I haven't saved them on my computer already. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the top one, yes I want to delete it, the bottom one, yes I want to delete it. So now we're going to go back and open my primary calibration, check my rev limiters tab, full throttle shifting, you got to check that off for that to, to engage. Um, you don't got to worry about your adjustable launch control anymore, you can leave it at whatever you want. My rib limiter is 8500, rebound at 83. And then you go back to Flash Pro tab and upload it to your primary. And there you go. Now it shows 2.4.8. And you can upload your secondary calibration if you want. Just want to make another note too is if you're uploading an older calibration that's actually a race calibration is what it's called. Um, that's what I'm doing right now because it's the one that I have for inspection purposes. And when you're going to go to the rev limiters tab, the new features don't appear because it's an older style calibration. Uh, the newer hybrid style calibrations are what you're going to get if you get a newer e-tune from anyone. I'm not sure if any of the new base maps that come with Flash Pro Manager are the new hybrid style calibrations. but. Uh, this is what you're going to get when you go and look for full throttle shifting. You're not going to have it. You're just going to have, and you don't even get adjustable launch control either. So none of the new features will work. You have to type in your launch control what you want, and you don't get your section for full throttle shifting or anything. This is interesting. This is actually something new with this version. Maybe this is the only difference with the 2.4.8. But when I go to upload the race calibration for my secondary, it gives you a warning. I've never had this before. So this is a race calibration, which does not support the new features and have inconsistent fuel gauge readings, it's recommended you use regular calibrations, which are new or hybrid style calibrations. So they must have got enough complaints like, hey, where's my full throttle shifting? And they put this message on the new version to say, hey, this is why. Um, so I don't really care if it's the older style. For some reason, passes inspection for me and the new ones don't. So we're going to go out to the car now and see the new update as far as the tachometer reflash progress bar. All right, so here we are at the car in the garage. Go inside. I already just hooked up Flash Pro to the OBD2 port, so there it is, blinking away. Um, let's see what this does here. Put it on the second click, and we're gonna go ahead and hit the program button and see what the tachometer does. So I'm hitting program. Try it again. It took a little bit. It was weird, but all right. So I'll hold this kind of in the same field of view. The thing hasn't started blinking yet, so we'll see what happens when it starts blinking. That's usually when it reflashes the ECU when it's blinking. There, it's blinking. Tachometer's not doing anything yet.
Well, it's still blinking. Tachometer. Do I have to press the cancel, maybe? Nope. Cruise down. Nope, no progress. Okay, so for some reason it stopped. The light stopped programming, so let's try it again. I'm going to hold this down. We're going to get that coming on. I'm going to watch the gauge again. Usually it takes about 90 seconds to program, so... Um, sorry, this is a kind of a boring, painful video. But I'm just trying to see if these new features work. So there it is. It starts to blink. It's programming the car. And the tachometer is still not doing anything. But if you want to hang out here and watch, we'll see if anything happens. Okay, so the tune is on the car, the fuel pump just primed, all my gauges are back, and the tachometer never did anything, so I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong. If anyone else knows kind of how to do this, leave a comment. If not, um, if anyone else has not had success with this or what this feature even means, I don't know if it's just for 9th gens, but on my 8th gen, it does not show any kind of tuning progress, reflashing progress on the tachometer itself. So uh, thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you have any further info, and I'll see you next time.